Welcome to Rauta Beyond, Life Beyond Metal. Welcome to Rauta Reacts videos. This time I'm actually doing a trailer reaction combined with my own movie review of such. I don't know if this format works, but I guess we will find out. And the first one in the line of these kind of reaction slash review videos is the first James Bond movie, Doctor No. And why I decided to go with it is that I recently, that is a couple of months ago, started watching old James Bond movies from the very beginning, to the very first movie, and then moving on. And uh, since I was already planning to do sort of kind of a recap video of the whole idea, I decided why not make these in the same fashion as those let's react to music videos kind of a videos. So let's go with it. This one is James Bond, Dr. No, Bond. the agent James Bond. 007. Uh, of course everybody should hours. probably know Life James Bond by now, but he's the most iconic secret agent. And this first movie, I mean, it's not exactly a very good one, but it features always charming Sean Connery. And as this comes from the 1960s, it features this iconic, even great music, James Bond tunes, and back in the days, of course, this was like, wow, uh, in 2023, not so much. Now, I watched this movie as a kid for the first time, and uh, or maybe a little bit older than just a kid, and I never was very, how, how to say, um, didn't make a big impact on me. And seeing that as an adult, a new time, it feels, I don't know, more boring, obviously. Of this is kind of like a combination of some nice ideas where the execution is sometimes just outright silly. I mean, this looks very, very 1960s, obviously, and uh, all this stuff, you know, uh, having <laughs> the kind of uh, movie tricks, you know, be it about uh, these... Um, driving parts, explosive cars and whatnot, uh, it gives you so much the feeling of times past. At the same time, it's very, how to say, exciting, dangerous, secret agent and all that stuff, and also kind of a goofy. And of course, back in the days, you know, the whole thing between men and women was so different in the movies. Men were the guys who actually do that, and women's role more like look pretty. Uh, for me, this movie is quite, uh, how to say, imbalanced. There are parts where it really gets exciting with the action, and these kind of a parts where, like, will he survive? I mean, of course he will. Explosions and fights, these are all like, oh no! must be very dangerous. Is he really that resourceful? Uh, all this stuff now looks quite goofy, but there is certain kind of uh, excitement to it. But as a whole movie, I mean, with these kind of trailers, you almost see like the most interesting parts anyway. And I'm like, if I had just watched the trailer, I probably would be a little bit happier than seeing the whole movie. Not really, but I mean, you get the best parts here. You know, the agent gets the girl, you know he gets into fist fights, he gets to run away from explosions and uh, all that stuff. And it, as such, I mean, it's more like, yeah, kind of no reason to go back to it, you know, full scope. But I want to torture myself, it seems, and that's why I wanted to go with James Bond as well, and, you know, to show <laughs> some of the parts with the trailer, what's it going to all be. So, in my opinion, this trailer really shows you most of the good parts, what's it all about in the movies. If you want to go explore 1960s secret agent stuff, then you must see this movie. But if you are more picky how 
you want to spend your time with movies, I think you can safely just skip Dr. No, unless you want to really know the whole James Bond storyline from the very beginning. So I'm kind of on the verge whether or not to recommend this to you. If you want to feel the whole experience, if you want to go through like I want to do again, go for it. But if you just want to see the best of James Bond movies, you can safely skip Dr. No, which is in my books, 6 out of 10. Take it as you will, and all that stuff. Now, looking forward to your feedback regarding this video format. Is it silly? Is it worthwhile keeping it going? You decide. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.